Hi, my name is Annette Cody. Welcome to the first in a series of three YouTube videos developed as a part of this course on infection control principles and isolation precaution practices. As new healthcare workers, it is important to understand these important principles and be able to apply the practices to prevent the transmission and spread of infection. Infection control and prevention is everyone's responsibility. The objectives for this first part of the course will be to define infection control, identify the components of an infection control program, and identify your role as a healthcare professional in preventing nosocomial or healthcare associated infection. What is infection control? Infection control is the discipline concerned with preventing nosocomial or healthcare associated infection. It is an essential part of the infrastructure of healthcare. What are the components of an infection control program? Infection control addresses factors related to the spread of infections within the healthcare setting, whether that be from patient to patient, from patients to staff, and from staff to patients or among staff. It includes prevention, hand hygiene, hand washing, cleaning and disinfectant and sterilization of the environment as well as medical equipment, vaccination of both patients and staff, and surveillance. Monitoring and investigation of demonstrated or suspected spread of infection within a particular healthcare setting including surveillance and outbreak investigation, and management, interruption of outbreaks. It is on this basis that the common title being adopted within healthcare is infection prevention and control. What is the role of the healthcare professional in preventing nosocomial or healthcare associated infections? As healthcare professionals, it is important to know the infection control policy and procedures, hospital-wide and service-specific. Compliance with the expected practices of infection control, including isolation precautions, use of personal protective equipment, and hand hygiene, and a culture of safety, stopping the line. If you see something or hear something that isn't right, stop the line talk about it, report it if necessary, and take the precautions required. Reporting concerns of breaches in infection control and holding each other accountable for compliance with infection control. It's okay to ask, have you washed your hands? There are many regulatory bodies and additional resources available to learn more about infection control principles and isolation precaution practices. The Joint Commission and the National Patient Safety Goals, the Center for Disease Control, Healthcare Infection Control Practices Advisory Committee, the Society for Healthcare Epidemiology, Infectious Disease Society of America, and the Association of Professionals in Infection Control are but a few of the regulatory bodies and additional resources available. It is your responsibility as healthcare res workers to become familiar with some of these regulatory bodies and utilize the additional resources available for you. Throughout this course, in the other two sections, we will be learning about some of the precautions and practices in infection control.